Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video and today we're going to talk about naming of points. So, we're done with the introduction of rectangular coordinate system and alam nyo na ngayon kung ano nga ba yung x-axis, y-axis and also the four regions that is named as quadrants. And you know how to locate points among those quadrants. Now, dito tayo sa naming of points. So, bago natin malaman kung paano nga ba natin papangalanan yung ordered pairs, kailangan po malinaw sa atin kung ano nga ba yung ordered pair. Again, any point on Cartesian plane is named according to its position called an ordered pair. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo dun sa naon ng video, ordered pair ito at hindi sila dapat magkapalit. The first number on the parenthesis is named as x-coordinate or abscissa and this corresponds to x-axis. So, titingnan natin siya palagi sa ating x-axis. While, yung pangalawang number, again, this is the y-coordinate and also known as ordinate. And this corresponds to y-axis. So, yung unang number is for the x-coordinate and then yung pangalawang number is for the y-coordinate. Yung x-coordinate, titingnan sa x-axis. Yung y-coordinate, titingnan sa y-axis. So, how to name or give the coordinates of the points? Paano nga ba natin aalamin at bibigyan ng pangalan or coordinates yung isang point? So, first, look on the x-axis to have the x-coordinate or abscissa. So, titingnan daw natin yung horizontal line or the x-axis. If it is on the right side of the y-axis, the sign will be positive and negative if it is on the left. So, kapag nasa right, positive. Kapag nasa left, negative. Number two, look for the y-axis to have the y-coordinate or the ordinate. So, titingnan naman natin is the vertical line para makuha natin yung ating y-coordinate. If it is above the x-axis, the sign will be positive and negative when below. So, kapag nasa taas daw, positive kapag nasa baba ng ating y-axis, siya ay negative. Then, on step number 3, write the ordered pairs inside the parentheses. So, ilalagay na natin yung ating ordered pair. Again, mauuna si x bago si y dun sa ating parentheses. And, kailangan po meron silang separator na comma. Okay? So, first example. We have here point A. How are we going to name or give the coordinates of this point? First, we have to look on our x-axis. So, saan nga ba siya sa x-axis na katapat? So, katapat siya ng positive 2. And 2 units siya away from our origin. So, our x-coordinate is positive 2. Now, saan naman siya katapat dun sa ating y-axis? Katapat siya ng positive 3. And 3 units siya away from our origin. The ordered pair or the coordinate for this point, point A, is 2 and 3. Bawal magkapalit. 2 is for x-coordinate and 3 is for y-coordinate. Okay? Next, we have point B. So, Saan siya katapat sa ating x-axis? X po lagi ang mauuna. Katapat niya ang negative 4. So, 4 units away from the origin or from the y-axis. So, ang ating x-coordinate po ay negative 4. Or yung abscissa natin ay negative 4. How about on our y-axis? Saan siya katapat? Sa y-axis, we have positive 1. 1 unit away from the origin or 1 unit away from the y-axis. Kaya po yung ating coordinate or y-coordinate is positive. 1. So, for point B, the ordered pair is negative 4 and 1. Bawal pong magkabaligtad. Negative 4 is for x-coordinate and positive 1 is for the y-coordinate. Okay? Next, we have point C. Again, unang titingnan ay x-axis. Saan siya katapat sa x-axis? So, siya ay nasa katapat ng negative 3. And 3 units away siya from our origin or from our y Axis. And then for our y-coordinate, saan siya katapat? Point C, katapat niya si negative 4. Kaya po, ang ating y-coordinate is negative 4. And 4 units po siya away from our origin. So for point C, the ordered pair is negative 3 and negative 4. Negative 3 is for the x-coordinate, negative 4 is for the y-coordinate. Again, katapat niya ay si negative 3 sa x-axis and negative 4 sa ating y-axis. Next, point D. Alin nga ba ang katapat niya ulit sa x-axis? So, katapat niya ay si positive 5 and 5 units away siya sa ating origin. For the y-coordinate, hanapin natin yung katapat niya sa ating y-axis sa vertical line. So, katapat niya po ang negative 4. So, 4 units away from the origin and our y-coordinate is negative 4. 
for point D, the ordered pair or coordinate is 5 and negative 4. 5 as X coordinate or abscissa and negative 4 as coordinate or Y coordinate. Next, we have point E. As you can see, nasa X axis siya mismo and 3 units away siya from our Y axis. So, for the X coordinate, we have positive 3. Now, saan nga ba siya katapat sa ating y-axis? Katapat siya ng ating y-axis dun po mismo sa 0. Kaya po yung ating y is 0. So, for the ordered pair of point E, we have positive 3 and 0. 3 for the x-coordinate and 0 for the y-coordinate. Point E is not located on quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. It is located on the x-axis itself. Okay? Positive 3 and Zero. So, we also call this as x-intercept because sa x lang siya matatagpuan. Last example, we have point F. Saan nga ba siya nakatapat sa ating x-axis? Again, tingnan natin yung x-axis. Katapat siya ng zero. So, for our x-coordinate, we have zero. And then, for the y-coordinate, Ilang unit ang layo niya from the origin, so we have negative 5. That is why the ordered pair for point F is 0 and negative 5. 0 for X coordinate, negative 5 for the Y coordinate. And hindi siya located sa quadrant 3 at quadrant 4, siya po ay located sa Y axis itself. And also, we can call this as Y intercept kasi sa Y lang siya matatagpuan or sa Y lang siya nag-intercept. Okay? So, now, for your um, activity, we have here this problem. The problem says that in Santiago, General Trias Cavite, the General Trias Dairy Racers Multipurpose Cooperative was located. Dairy products are being made. These are kesong puti. So, ito po yung kesong puti and ito yung point na tinutukay niya. We have fresh carabao's milk. So, ito yung fresh carabao's milk and ito yung point na tinutukay niya. Then, we have strawberry milk. So, here is the strawberry milk. This is the point. Yogurt. So, ito po yung yogurt. And this is the point. And the last one is pastillas de leche. So, here is the photo of pastillas de leche and ito po yung kanyang point. These products are arranged in a freezer with their own designation so that the seller will be able to locate the products easily. Now, using the figure that follows, the seller can determine the location of each dairy product. Can you also determine the location of the dairy products? So, using the rectangular coordinate system, the x-axis and the y-axis, we have to locate each point that designates the product we have first we have kesong puti second we have fresh carabao's milk strawberry milk yogurt and pastillas de leche so we have to locate the points given here you can pause this video to locate each product in our rectangular coordinate system okay again kesong puti fresh carabao's milk strawberry milk yogurt and pastillas de leche. Okay, for the answers, kesong puti. So again, locate it on the x-axis. So siya ay nasa positive 2. And then sa ating y-axis, we have positive 5. So the coordinates for the point for kesong puti is positive 2 and positive 5. Next, for the fresh carabao's milk, here is the point. Hanapin ng katapat sa x-axis, we have negative 5. Hanapin ng katapat sa y-axis, we have positive 5. So, the coordinates for the fresh carabao's milk is negative 5 and positive 5. Next is strawberry milk. So, nasa quadrant 4 siya. So, expect natin ang kanyang x-coordinate ay positive at ang y-coordinate ay negative. So, anong katapat niya sa x-axis? Positive 3. And then, ang katapat niya sa y-axis ay negative 2. So, the coordinates will be positive 3 and negative 2. Next is the yogurt. Anong katapat niya sa ating x-axis? We have negative 3. And katapat niya sa y-axis is negative 4. Since nasa quadrant 3 siya, negative-negative po talaga. And again, bawal magkapalit yung dalawang numbers. Negative 3 is for the x coordinate and negative 4 is for the y coordinate. Okay? Then, the last one, we have the pastillas de leche. So, this one, nasa quadrant 1. So, expect natin positive-positive siya. Saan katapat sa x-axis, we have positive 4 and then sa y-axis, we have positive 3. Okay? So, I hope you got 5 correct answers in this activity and again, I hope you learned something from this video. Huwag niyo pong kalimutang mag thumbs up, mag-subscribe and mag-hit ng
notification bell button para po ma-notify kayo when I upload new videos about mathematics. So that's all for this video. Stay tuned for another video about rectangular coordinate system. Bye!